I have, oh God, I've missed this desk and this space so much. How are you guys doing? I know you can't hear me, I can't hear you, but I love you guys. I just wanna say I love you. Thank you for tuning in to yet another fantastic episode of Elon After Hours. We got a great guest for you today. We got some great guests on the street outside of the studio for you guys today. You guys are gonna love it, all right? Love it. So what's been happening with me? Hmm. Well, you see, I recently, um, I recently was late to class, you know, this is a crazy story. So I was late to class, uh, I walk in, and my teacher's like, hey, where you been, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I'm like, you know what? I had a little problem. She's like, what, what's the problem? I'm like, I can't tell you the problem, can we speak after class? And she's like, no, if you got a problem, you can say it in front of the class, which I thought was like, what? Basically, I, um, I lit the edge of my bed on fire accidentally. I have incense and my roommates always say, stop lighting incense. You're gonna, allow the house, you're gonna light the house on fire. I'm like, dude, it's incense. You can't burn anything down with incense. The edge of my bed caught on fire and the med team had to come out there, or the med team, the fire department had to come out there, excuse me, and this was tough. This was a tough night in Oak Hill because Oak Hill's only one way. It's only one way and it's just tough. It's really tough. Um, but yeah, so besides my, my personal weird story, um, Elon, this past weekend, this past Saturday, first football game, they beat Davidson. Woo, woo! Shouts out to QB Joey Ballman with two touchdowns, one on the ground, one through the air. He threw for like 175 yards while also rushing for another 70 yards. Crazy. Also, shouts out to running back Mr. Raylan Jalen Thomas. All right. He also had a great game on the ground with about 130 yards, a touchdown. Killing it, all right? Fantastic. Elon's next game will be at JMU next Saturday. So please, 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 everyone, try to get your tickets, go out support. Limited tickets are available, okay? So as soon as you see that email, you better go get it, all right? All right? Now, here's a little crazy story. So recently, a North Carolina woman has been charged and on, I think, 30 different charges for filing, incorrectly filing her COVID fund relief. $150,000 she stole. And as soon as she stole it, she went directly to the malls. I mean, come on, if you're gonna steal money, I don't condone doing it. But if you're gonna steal that much money, don't go blow it to the malls, to the diamonds. Report says that she went to Louis Vuitton, she went to K Jeweler Diamonds. I mean, she was trying to buy her way out of America right now. She was trying to dip, she was trying to dip. Um, so more of that story is please, if you incorrectly file for your COVID relief form, please don't spend that money. Save it. Save your money. I promise it's worth it, all right? Cool, cool. All right, so with that all out of the way, we are going to get started for the show tonight, guys. I'm so excited that you guys are here with me. Um, I'm really happy to be back in the studio. I can't wait for this season. It's going to be a great rest of the season for Elon After Hours, and we will see you guys back with another few guests. All right, thank you, guys. See you soon. It's a beautiful day out here, sunny today with light breezes, giving way to clouds in the afternoon. We could see some light precipitation to moderate precipitation later on, followed by powerful storm-like conditions. 90 miles per hour winds are expected. Authorities are asking everyone, stay indoors. Come on, that's it, let's go. Hello, whoa, 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 it's me. And the rest of the crew, and we're back at Elon After Hours, whoop, 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 yeah. Next, we have a very, very special guest in mind. Did someone, did someone light a candle in here? <laughs> oh, no, that's just Nate's cookies, Nate's cookies. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for my very special friend and dear guest, Nathan Moskowitz, Woo! Nathan. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Nathan, I promise you, there, there are so many people clapping and cheering for you right now. You just can't hear it. I can't hear it either, you know, because there's really no one here. But I love you, and I just want to say thank you uh, for coming and being a guest with us today, man. How's it going? It's good. It's good. It's busy. Thank you for having me. Nice. It's awesome. Nice, man. So let's get started, man. Where did your interest first start with cooking? Um, so cooking started uh, around the four or five. Um, and I'd go to my grandparents' house who lived in St. Louis, and my grandma loved to cook. And so I think 
I initially got that inspiration from her, um, seeing her passion, seeing her love for food, and it just kind of became an obsession from there. Where I was, I was cooking every day during class. Instead of writing notes, I was, uh, I was writing recipe concepts and, and menu concepts and restaurant concepts and testing recipes and formulating my own and cross-referencing chefs. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think that's where it all started. Um, and yeah, it's just been an obsession from there. Nice, man, that's what's up. So who helped you start Nate's Cookies? Uh, was, and what was that journey like? So Nate's Cookies was started um, by me where I, I just started, I realized that we, one, don't have a cookie, a really great cookie around mm -hmm. campus. Um, and you have to drive like 40 minutes to Insomnia. And so I was like, this is crazy. I, I can make <laughs> a cookie and I can make it great. And I can, I can take all these different flavor complexities that you don't usually get with a normal cookie, which are just sweet. Um, I, can make it I can make it bitter and I, I can make it fruity and I can make it sweet and I can make it a little salty mm. and, um, and like nutty and toasty. And I can combine all of those and make a better cookie experience for the people wow. um, of Elon. And so... Um, I started it uh, by just creating my own recipe um, and testing that a bunch at home uh, over break. And then I, when I got to school, I brought on um, a couple of friends, including Paris Taliadores, who's who is my chief of testing, who helps me out with every batch, as well as Kevin Quelio, who is who is my CEO and CFO, and he helps me with mm. literally everything, with sending confirmation texts, with deliveries. Um, and so I can't thank them enough. And I've got a team of there's six of us, um, soon to be seven, and it's Ooh. awesome. Yeah. Ooh. That is crazy, man. I'm, I'm really glad you're doing this for the people. You know, most people say, oh, well, I, I love cooking and I'm going to get some money. But you're truly doing this for the people, man. Yeah. I, that's, that's amazing, man. That's really amazing. Uh, are you a part of any other organizations on campus? Yes, I Ooh. am in Please smooth, do tell. smooth Progressions Acapella. What? Um, <laughs> yeah, I am in Smooth Progressions Acapella. Um, and I'm also in Beta Theta Pi mm. um, fraternity, as well as I'm a song leader for Hello. Wow, man, Hello. So, how do you balance all those experiences, you know, while being a student and while also running a business? That must be tough. It's tough, for sure. Um, I do like to over involve myself, <laughs> I do get involved in a lot, but that's part of the reason why I decided to bring people along with me because they could share this experience with me and um, we could do it all together. Um, and I've always loved to work in teams. Um, I'd love to have people collaborating, bouncing off ideas. And so um, I definitely give a majority of the credit to my team who helps me every single day with anything I need. Um, but I mean, balancing school, it's, uh, it's tough and it does get tough. Um, and I've definitely had a couple times where I've uh, been up late just working. Um, but mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing more satisfying than um, seeing other people happy and making other people happy. And so I think it's all worth it. Dang, man. Why are you so good, dude? See, I've known Nate for a while. And uh, even on we have our little show choir trips in the past before COVID, um, Nate would cook for us. He made his famous banana bread. Um, made some fruit, some breakfast, and we were just eating and vibing. I was like, God, oh, this dude should, he should start his business one day. So when those checks start coming in, <laughs> cough, cough. Nah, but man, uh, you know what? Describe the cookie making process and the ordering process and tell our fans and viewers, you know, how they can order Nate's cookies. Yeah, so the cookie making process is, um, it's fairly simple. We, on Thursday nights, we make the dough. Um, and right now it's just the one cookie, the Dark Horse Cookie, which is our 77% dark chocolate toffee brown butter and espresso cookie. Um, and soon it's, it's, we're actually starting testing. We started testing on Tuesday for the second cookie, which is called the White Knight. Um, and so dough is Thursday night, and then we let them rest for 48 hours. Wow. Um, and then on Sunday morning, uh, I bake them. Um, that takes a while, especially with my little oven. Um, <laughs> soon we'll be using the Elon Kitchens. This week we're starting to use the Elon Bakery, wow. which is going to be awesome. Um, you guys are official. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and so we bake them in the morning and then there's a delivery process where mm -hmm. right now because of COVID, um, we are delivering them in um, where we just drive up to the dorm, the house, wherever they live and we uh, text them that we're there. Um, 
and they come out and grab their cookies. And that's the process. It's very simple. We wanted to make it as simple as possible for the consumer mm -hmm. so that they can just have that enjoyment of the cookie and that fulfillment. That's, um, wow. that's what's up, man. That's what's up. So, yeah. so please, before you go, uh, can you please explain to our viewers where to find Nate's cookies and how to order them, please? Yes. Yeah, so if you want to go check us out on Instagram, it's going to be Nate's Cookies. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, and then if you want to actually order a cookie, you're going to go on cookiesnates.com. Cookiesnates.com. Yeah, you press on the order button. There's an order form. It's very simple. Wow. Um, we'll send you confirmation text once you've ordered, and that's that's all there is to it. It's it's very simple, and we wanted to make it that way, so we're excited. That's what's up, man. Thank you, thank you, Nathan, so so much for coming on to here with us tonight. Thank you for making your cookies. Thank you for sharing your love and passion for cooking to the rest of Elon's campus, man. We love you so much, dude. And next, oh, after I after I get done singing on my lovely camera woman, we are going to be eating some of Nathan's cookies off camera, though, of course. We'll be right back. I'm here for Elon After Hours, and we're just here out of the studio trying to ask some questions, trying to ask some Elon trivia. Do you think you can get a perfect score? I'm gonna do my best, I'll tell you that right now. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know any of these questions. <laughs> when was Elon founded? 1920? Dude, I don't know, bro. It was like 1622? Close, close. 18. 1889. Woo! 1889. Nine. 1889 was the answer. What are Elon's colors? Maroon and gold. Maroon and gold. Red and orange. Or yellow, gold. I don't know. What's that color? Maroon. Oh, burgundy, gold, and white, baby. What is Elon's mascot? Phoenix. Oh, the Phoenix. Let's oh. go, baby. Let's go, baby. Phoenix. Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix. Let's go, roll Phoenix. Race from the flyer. Yeah, race from the flyer. How many acres is Elon's campus? Oh, jeez. <laughs> like seven. Seven. Eight. Man, I'd say about 100. 656. 656 acres. Oh. <laughs> it's 656. <laughs> what is your best or favorite dining hall? Uh, Clohan. Clohan? Okay, cool, cool. Why? Because I lived in Nades freshman uh, sophomore year. So. Oh, McEwen, we're right next to it right now. I uh -huh. get food from here every day, uh -huh. you know. Uh, slide by if you want to meet some good people and some nice folks. McEwen. McEwen, McEwen definitely. Yeah. That's yes. where we're heading right now. Yeah. yeah. McEwen's always lit. Clohan's always lit. Lakeside friggin' sucks. <laughs> All right, for your last question, I know you guys have only been here for a year. Mm -hmm. Not even a year yet. What is your craziest Elon story? PG or not? PG. <laughs> Man, so I jumped in that fountain over there, right? So I may or may not have swanton bombed in the pond. Ooh. Ooh. But we're Ooh. gonna keep it PG and not reveal too much. But I will say that it was a beautiful dive. I guess our fire alarm went off like three weeks in a row at 3 a.m. Oh my God. Clohan, it was awful. <laughs> that's rough, that's rough. Crazy, that's awful. You know what's a super cool tradition? The luminary tradition. We went, but it was like so freezing, but it's worth it. <laughs> Goodbye, Elon After Hours. We're sending it back to you, Zay. Let's go, let's go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's right, we're back. We're back with our very special friend, Nathan, once again. We're gonna play a little game. Um, by the way, I just wanna, this thing is heavy, y'all. This thing is so heavy. I just wanna say, I don't know how he makes this every day. 32 of these every day, crazy. All right, so this game is a little special version of karaoke, but we're gonna change the lyrics, all right? So Nathan and I both have some cards, and we are going to call out these songs and they have a theme to them. So you're gonna hear the theme of the song, but with a little bit of twist of different lyrics. Okay, Nathan, are you ready? Yeah, should I look at my cards? Yeah, dude, yeah, all right. First, okay. I'll, I'll go first, I'll go first, all right? Okay. My song is American Boy. By the way, too, uh, we're gonna have to try to guess each other's topics, all right, after we sing these songs, okay? <clears throat> Baby, 
baby, you can swipe right on my profile someday. Tinder. That gummit, that gummit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right. All right. All right, my turn. Um, we got that rice paper, and we got vermicelli noodles. We got that cucumber, and all the peppers and onions, and you Is this wrap what you cook it with? up, and you gonna fry it today. Burrito, uh, doba, uh, chipotle. No. You usually eat it with some fried rice and hibachi. Close. Uh, Panda, Chinese Express, Panda Express. It item. An item? An item Chicken? from what? Steak? Pork? <laughs> you roll it up and you oh, eat it. Oh, it's sushi, sushi. You roll it up and then you fry it. Dough? <laughs> what is it? What is it, Nate? It's egg rolls. Egg oh rolls. Oh my gosh, egg rolls. I'm not a cook, man. I don't. I, what? Oh, I guess that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, okay. All right, this is a hard one. You're not going to get this one, all right? You ready? Um, professor, I'm sorry I'm late. I don't have my homework because my dog ate it. Excuses? And he ate it really good. He ate all my pencils. He ate all my erasers. He ate all my papers. Oh, no. Just take me to the office. Take me back home. Tardiness? <laughs> <laughs> close, close, close. Take me to church, but excuses for forgetting your homework. Uh, okay, Was that okay. uh, you? You kind of okay, kinda okay, okay, okay. All right, what's yours? What's yours? All right, let's see. Um. Okay. In the apartment with some friends, got no social life. Uh, playing Rocket League with my boys, got no social life. Um. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Rocket League is the topic, right? Video games? No. <laughs> it's your current social life in Corona times. But I, I said social life. <laughs> what was the song? It, it was supposed to be WAP. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't really know how to go about it, so I just... <laughs> okay, that's, okay, that's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. WAP is not appropriate for the kids and viewers listening at home. Nope. I just want to recommend that uh, for the parents. Please do not go and play WAP. All right, this last one, this is a very famous song. Uh, I'm going to need you to try to guess the topic as well as sing a little bit of the topic with me, okay? Is that cool? I got you. All right, so. We all miss seeing people by the lawn, spike ball by the lawn, Ooh. playing with our friends at Elon. Ooh. You go. It's, do you want me to guess or do you want me to keep going? Keep going, whatever you think it is. Uh, we all live in our, um, in our, on the basketball courts. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. The, the, for the viewers at home, if you want to know, the song is Yellow Submarine, and the topic is things that we miss about a regular spring at Elon, uh, all right? Okay. Guys, uh, nice. Nathan, thank you so, so, so much for coming on today with us. We appreciate thank you so you. much. Thank you. We will see you guys very, very soon. But that is all the time we have for tonight. Guys, please, please, please don't forget to come back next week. Our amazing guest, my brother, my guy, Michael Worth, he is starting the college tour and it is perfecting the college tour. You should go look it up on YouTube right now. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Shouts out to Nate's Cookies for coming on. Please go follow Nate's Cookies. Shouts out to Mel. Shouts out to Hannah. Shouts out to my boy, JD. Shout, 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 out, shout out to everybody in the crew. Piper, Miss Stacy. I love all y'all moms. I love you, girl. You know you're my favorite girl in the world. And we are out. We'll see you next week. Good night, everybody. To find out more about After Hours, visit elonstudenttv.org.